If you're an accountant working with Power BI, then one of the things you almost certainly want to do at some point is multi-company reporting. And to do multi-company reporting, you need to learn how to append queries in Power BI. And that's what I will show you in this video. Let me explain the problem. Let's say your single company data model contains 10 tables. And let's say you want to report from six companies in a single model. If you just replicate your data structure across the six companies, you'll end up with 60 tables in your data set and it will start to get quite tricky to use. Ideally what you want are the same 10 tables that you had in your single company model containing the data from all six companies and then one additional table which is a company's table that you can use to select and filter and slice between those companies. Let me show you how to do that. So in this model what I've got is a transactions table from company ABC and a transactions table from company XYZ. What I'd like to do is to combine these into a single transactions table, a new table called companies that I will use to select between the two companies. So firstly, let's add our companies table. Now I'm just going to use the manual enter data function here. You could use other methods if you wanted. And in this simple example, I'm just going to create a two column table with a company ID and a company name. Company ID one, I will assign to company ABC and company ID two, I will assign to company X, Y, Z. I will call the table companies. What I will do next then is add a company ID column to each of my transactions tables and then merge them into one or append them into one. And then in my model, create a relationship between companies and my transactions table. So that's my companies table created. Let's just take a quick look at the data set. There we see a very small companies table and our transactions tables, they both have the same structure, but we can see there's no company ID column in here. So we'll need to add that to both tables before we append them. So to do that, I'll go to query editor. We take transactions ABC. I'll add a custom column. It's very simple. I just want a single column called company ID where every single row has a value of one. So I call it company ID and the value is one. And I do the same for my transactions XYZ table, except in this case, I want a value of two because that was my company ID. And now comes the magic because what I would like to do is I would like to just have a single transactions table. So I'm going to append XYZ to ABC. So to do that, I'll select ABC and I go to the home tab and I look for the function append queries. Now I could append as a new query, but there's no need. I'll just choose append queries. And if I had five or six companies, I would need the three or more tables option, but I've just got two. So I'll append transactions X, Y, Z. That's created a combined table with all the transactions in. So I'll just rename that transactions to avoid confusion. And then the last thing I want to do is to make sure that this transactions XYZ no longer appears in my data set. I still need it in my queries so that I can refresh the data coming from XYZ company. But if I select it and right click, I can disable the enable load option, ignore the warning. What that means is it won't appear in my data set and it won't take up space in my data set when I load it into Power BI. So I choose close and apply. And now we can see it. we've just got the two tables. If I just explore the transactions table here, I can see now I've got the company ID column and I've got transactions from both or rows from both the tables there. Now, if we go over to the model, what I'd like to do is make sure there's a relationship between my company's table and my transactions table. So I'll base that on <laughs> come at me ID with uh, company ID, excuse the spelling, but it'll still work. And now, so for argument's sake, let's say I want to add a card showing sales. All I need to do is select my transactions net amount and I can add a filter for type, filter the transaction type by sales transaction type, sales invoice, sales discount, sales credit. I can see I've got a total across both companies of 13.64 million. And now I can slice that just looking at XYZ or ABC or both.
So to summarize, that's how to append queries in Power BI. Key points to remember is that each of the tables you're appending should be the same structure. You'll need to append an additional ID column to each of the tables so that you can then slice those by, by in this case, by company. And the appendee tables that you no longer want to see in your data set. In Query Editor, if you right click on those and choose to disable the enable load function, then they won't appear in, the, in your data set and they won't take up space in your model.